Hello students, in present video, I am going to explain about 14th problem from consignment topic. I am making this video for degree students. Previous videos links are available in the description box. Let us see the question first. On 1st January 2021, Murali of Hyderabad consigned 200 cycles to Shiva of Nellur, each cycle costing 800 rupees. The goods were charged at a pro forma invoice price to show a 25% profit on cost. On the same date, the consignor paid 4000 rupees as freight and insurance. On 31st December 2021, the consignee sent an account sale informing that 180 cycles have been sold for 1200 rupees each. They have incurred the following expenses in respect of the consignment. Loading charges 1000 rupees. Cycle fitting charges 2000 rupees. And go down rent 4200 rupees. With the account sale, the consignee sent a remittance for the balance due to the consignor after deducting commission of 5% on gross sale proceeds. You are required to show consignment account, good send on consignment account in the books of Murali under invoice price memorandum column method. This is the question. Let us see the solution for this. Important points of the problem I am written on the board. Murali is living in Hyderabad. So, on 1st January 2021, he sent 200 cycles on consignment basis to Shiva who is living in Nellur. So, one cycle cost price is 800 rupees and an invoice price is 25% profit on cost. To send these goods, consignor incurred expenditure 4000 rupees. So, by 31st December 2021, Consignee sent one account sales stating that 180 cycles were sold at the rate of 1200 rupees each and the consignee's expenditure is unloading charges 1000, cycle fitting charges 2000 rupees, go down rent 4200. He is entitled to take a commission of 5% on sale and he is asking us to prepare consignment account, goods sent on consignment account in the books of consignor under invoice price memorandum column method. So this is the new point. In previous problems also we used to give invoice price. We used to write goods sent on consignment and the unsold stock value as per invoice price and the loadings we used to cancel to calculate the correct profit or loss. But in this problem to show this invoice price details we have to use this method. Under this method, you can see new points in consignment account and goods sent on consignment account. So there is no difference between previous problems and this problem while preparing consignee's account. So when accounts are prepared under invoice price memorandum column method, in consignment account and in goods sent on consignment account, we have to add additional columns. See, in previous problems, when he gives dates, we used to open date column, particulars column, amount column. But here, memorandum amount column is extra. So this column contains invoice price information. Let us solve this problem. So we are preparing ledger of Murali, you know? therefore analyze all these transactions from Murali's point of view. First what happened, Murali sent goods on consignment basis. Entry. Nellur consignment account data to goods sent on consignment account. In Nellur consignment account debit side, we should post now. Date is 1st January 2021 to goods sent on consignment account. Now, these two columns we should fill. In memorandum amount column, invoice price of goods sent we should write. In ordinary amount column, cost price of goods sent we should write. So, 200 bicycles are sent. 200 bicycles at the rate of 800 rupees. Here, 800 is cost of price now. 1,60,000. This is cost price of good set. So, in every column, show that value. 1,60,000. Now, come to invoice price. Invoice price is 25% profit on cost. So, if cost is 1,60,000, then invoice price is 25% on cost. 
ఎక్స్పెండిచర్ని to bank account by sending the goods only he incurs this expenditure now therefore for expenditure also date is say 1st january 2021 in memorandum amount column 4000 in ordinary amount column also 4000 in this two column same amount i am writing because this is expenditure now in case of expenditure invoice for of expenditure is not there next what happen Kanzain is sold 180 cycles at the rate of 1200 each this is sale so sale is an income in consignment account income credit said we should write date is account sales are sent on 31st december 21 now so for sales for consignee's expenses for consignee's commission same date we are going to write 31st december 21 kanzain is sold therefore write down this name by shiva account 180 cycles at the rate of 1200 rupees each 216000 rupees for sales there is no invoice price no so in two columns write down the same amount next consignee's expenditure so in consignment account expenditure debit side we should write now date is last date of the year 31st December 21 for consignee's expenditure his name we should write to shiva account expenditure total 1000 plus 2000 plus 4200 7200 in two columns same amount because for in case of consignee's expenditure also invoice price of consignee's expenditure is not there no next commission of consignee So for consignment business, this commission is an expenditure. David said we should write date is say thirty first December twenty one. For consignment commission also his name we should write to Shiva account on sales five percent sales amount two lakh sixteen thousand into five by hundred. 2160 into 5 is equal to 10800 so in this two amount columns write down that next step come to unsold stock value calculation 200 cycles are sent on consignment consignee sold 180 cycles 20 cycles are unsold this value we should calculate unsold stock value calculation first invoice price or cost price of unsold stock we should take So 20 cycles are unsold now because 200 cycles are sent, 180 cycles are sold, 20 unsold stock cycles are there. So this is 20 cycles into one cycle invoice price. If you take, then unsold stock invoice price comes. 800 is one cycle cost price now, and invoice price is 25 percent above cost. So 800 into 25 by 100. 800 into 20 by 100. If you do 200 comes now, so 200 plus 800, 1000. So one by skill invoice price is 1000. 1000 into 20 by skills is equal to 20,000 unsold stock invoice price. Similarly, unsold stock cost price also we should calculate. Recollect previous problems. In previous problems, when invoice price is given. only invoice price of unsold stock we used to take to that direct expenses of consignor consignee we add that unsold stock value we consider in consignment account but here we are preparing consignment account on invoice price memorandum column method now therefore separately we are calculating unsold stock values so by taking invoice price we are calculating 
by taking cost to price also we are calculating therefore unsold stock cost to price also we are calculating here unsold stock 20 cycles into one cycle cost to price 800 so 20 into 800 16000 is unsold stock cost to price to these two values we should add proportionate direct expenses of consignor and consign consignor expenditure 4000 is direct expenditure now 4000 is spent on how many bicycles 200 bicycles we are calculating unsold stock value so unsold stock related expenditure only we should consider here now then 200 cycles expenditure is 4000 then 20 cycles expenditure is how much so 4000 divided by 200 into 20 if you do that 400 comes plus proportionate direct expenses of shiva consigning consigning incurred three expenses now unloading expenditure direct expenditure cycle fitting charges direct expenditure go down rent indirect expenditure direct expenditure means on these goods only for one time he incurs indirect expenditure means again and again so go down rent monthly he pays now it is a recurring transaction therefore this is indirect expenditure thousand rupees unloading charges 2000 cycle fitting charges total 3000 is direct expenditure of consigning so that 3000 only we should consider 3000 is spent on how many cycles 200 we are calculating unsold stock value now so 20 cycles expenditure only we should take 3000 divided by 200 into 20 is equal 300 rupees add these amounts then unsold stock when you consider invoice price is 20,700 unsold stock when it is calculated on cost price is 16,700 so this is 20,700 16,700 both we have to show in consignment account unsold stock credit side we show now date is last date of the year 31st December 21 for unsold stock what to write consignment stock account in memorandum column 20,700 unsold stock value when invoice price is considered that amount we should show in amount column 16,700 if you observe loading adjustments we are not done here even though invoice price is given there is no loading adjustment because under invoice price memorandum column method we prepared this consignment account so why we should do loading adjustment when you take invoice price of goods sent on consignment invoice price of unsold stock in consignment account then to know the correct profit or loss loading in this value loading in this value we should calculate and we should cancel them but in present problem to know the correct profit of consignment business we are opening other columns also amount column so in amount column only cost price of goods sent on consignment unsold stock at a cost price we are considering so with the help of these amounts columns correct profit or loss in consignment account also here only we can calculate therefore loading adjustment is not required so everything is completed finally we should calculate profit or loss for memorandum amount columns credit column total is more than debit column total so credit column total is 2,36,700 debit amounts total is 2,22,000 rupees difference 14,700 debit total is less so on debit side you have to write this amount in this column 14,700 two sides highest total 236,700 credit side also same come the amount column credit total is more than debit total difference 50,700 debit side two sides highest total 232,700 what is the meaning of this answers Credit side we wrote incomes, debit side expenditure. Income is more than expenditure. So difference is profit now. This profit we should transfer to profit and loss account. So write down 
to profit and loss account. That is last date of the year. Profits, two amounts are available. Which amount is the cut profit? 50,700. So this profit is not the real profit. It is calculated only for information sake. So if invoice prices are considered to show the goods sent on consignment, to calculate unsold stock value, then profit will be 14,700. When cost prices are considered, then the profit is 50,700, which is a true profit. So in this manner, consignment account is prepared by consignor. Next is asking to prepare goods sent on consignment account in consignor's books. Goods sent on consignment account, same columns. So first what happened? Consignor sent the goods on consignment basis. Entry, Nellur consignment account data to goods sent on consignment account. In Nellur consignment account, debit side will be posted. In goods sent on consignment account, credit side we should post no? Credit side, date is 1st January 2021. By Nellur consignment account. We collect the values. In memorandum amount column, invoice price of goods and we should write now 2 lakh rupees. In amount column, cost price of goods and 1 lakh 60,000 rupees. In previous problems, we used to write a reverse entry to adjust the loading in goods and on consignment. But here, loading adjustment is not required now. Therefore, that reverse entry is also not required. So finally, we should close this account by transferring the balance to trading account. So debit share balance comes now because credit total is more. Debit side to trading account when last date of the year, 31st December 21, to trading account. Put the totals, 2 lakh, 1 lakh 60,000. Credit side also same. With this, ledger of consignment is completed. So this is all about 14th problem. Hope this video is helpful to you. Thank you.